Shabbat Shalom. Can everybody on Zoom hear us? Can I get a thumbs up? Okay, I see nods, we're good. The technology is working. Yes, we have, um, uh, in Carol's words, we, we have a new thingy. I'm pretty sure Suzanne would not appreciate my calling it that. Um, but it will allow us, you can, if anybody wants to take a field trip up to the front of the room before we start the service, um, it allows us to see those on Zoom and hear them should they unmute, though I recommend staying muted during the service unless you really want to unmute. Um, but for them to see us, and if we play with the settings on that camera, like as I move around, it will automatically zoom in and out. Though so we've disabled that for the moment, so the whole Vima stays in view regardless of who can stand still while leading and who can't. I think you might know who I'm talking about. Um, and we might be able to use this for writer band and other uses. So congratulations, you are all our guinea pigs for the evening. Um, somewhere in here, put the app on. So we welcome in Shabbat. You will notice that it is just me, which means those on Zoom, you get to sing loudly from your homes. And those who are here, I invite you to sing loudly because I promise you cannot sing any worse than I can. And we get to all actually join our voices together in song. And somehow the column with page numbers did not print on my service outline, so that's going to be a little less than helpful. Um, let us begin, if you have a prayer book, on pages with Shabbat songs that should be towards the beginning. And page 10, thank you. Inne matobu manayim shevet achim gam yachad. Inne matobu manayim shevet achim gam yachad. Inne mato shevet achim gam yachad. Inne mato shevet achim gam yachad. Ine mato humanaim shevet achim gam yachad. Ine mato humanaim shevet achim gam yachad. We'll turn to page 20, I believe, for the Hadavi. Le hak to di li hikrat kala yala la yala la yala la bene shabat ne kabela shamu bisamu bidi murehat ish mi anu eha me yuchat arna eha rushemo eha the shame of the parent, the lady, the we tried Shabbat, Verse 
As we turn to page two to welcome in Shabbat with the lighting of our candles, it is my pleasure to invite Mick Schmal forward to lead us in the lesson. Ta Adonai Eloheinu Malak Aloam Ashir Kitchenu Bismatov Bisvanu Bahadlik Nishel Shabbat. I'll sing one more song as we welcome in Shabbat. Um, turning to page 22. Mismo shir le yom ha-shabbat, tov le-hodot la-adonai, u-lezamer le-shimcha el-yon, u-lezamer le-shimcha el-yon. Le-ha-id ba-boker chastecha, ve-mu-matcha ha-ba-lelot, Page twenty six. Eat Kadal, to rise as we turn to page 28 for the Baruch Hu. Those following along at home in the full book, it would be page 146. Yeah, I, 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 I. 
Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol, all these things your Torah gives to us, and the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai We still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternal Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. <laughs> Nora to Hilo to Hosea Pele, 
Give us a place to rest, Adonai, our God. Bring us into shelter in the soft, long evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety. And in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread, o spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch ata Adonai, hakore sukkah shalom, aleinu ve'alchol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la-sot et ha-shabbat le-dorot ha-barit olam. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-shabbat la-sot et ha-shabbat le-dorot ha-barit olam. Benil ben bene Israel, oti leodam, oti leodam. Vishamru bene Israel, et a Shabbat. La so det a Shabbat, le dorotam berit olam. Ye shed yamim, Turn to page 46 or 164 in the full prayer book as we rise spiritually or physically for the Amidah. Prayer invites God's presence to suffuse our spirits, God's will to prevail in our lives. Prayer may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city, but prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, Rebuild a weakened will. Adonai sefatai kitahu ki agitehi la telecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu v'eloheavoseinu v'imoseinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Isaac, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rika, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, El Agadol, Agibol, Vahanora, El Yon, Gomer Hasekim Tovim, Vekone Hakot, Vezoher Haseavot, Vimahot. Who may be you love it, never name him, the man she move a hava, Melchose, Moshea, Mahi, Baruch, Adonai, Magir Abraham, Besrat Sarah, Atagi, Borle, Lamaranai, 
to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh Ashabbat. Ritz, Ritz, Page 58. We acknowledge with thanks that you are Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors forever. You are the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation in every generation. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives, which are in your hand, for our souls, which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. O good one whose mercies never end, O compassionate one whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you. For all these things, O sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. O God, our redeemer and helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch ata Adonai. Atov shimcha ulecha na'eh lehodot. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch ata Adonai, amivarech et amo Yisrael, v'shalom. We take a moment for private prayer and meditation on the following pages.
to rise physically or spiritually as we turn for our Torah service, which we will begin on page 246, 364 in the full sea door. Please rise. <laughs> comes from Parshat Tetzaveh, which begins with Exodus chapter 27, verse 20. For those who have the Plout Torah commentary, I believe it is on page 643, at least that's what I wrote on the top of this page. I'm hoping that is correct. It is not. Well, if that is Leviticus, is that maybe 543 or 53? What did I do? Okay, race, who can get to Exodus chapter 27, verse 20 first? I apologize, I looked it up, did two other things, and then wrote it down. It's on page 563. 563. It's only off by like 120 pages. It's a biblical number at least. Um, or yes, no, something like that. Um, so this Torah portion is where that back off. Um, we get more of the commandments surrounding the instructions for building the tabernacle. Um, next week, we get the infamous portion of Kiti Saab with the golden calf, and then we start actually building the tabernacle. Um, I will be reading from the beginning of the Torah portion. Um, and for those 
As is our custom, we will join together in the blessing over the Torah reading. Baruch the Atah Titzaveh et B'nai Yisrael, and you, you shall command the children of Israel, Vayichu Elecha Shemen Zait, Zach Katit, that you should, that they should take pure olive oil that is beaten, Lema Or, for the for the light, lehaalot ner tamid that it should be that the lamp should be caused to continuously be lit. The ohel moe in the tent of meeting michutz la parochet outside of the curtain. Asher al haedut that is over the the like act of the testimony or yeah. Yaaroch oto that you should spread it out or set it out. Aharon, Uvanav, and his children, Me'erev ad Bocher, from the evening until the morning, Lifne Adonai, before Adonai. Chukat Olam, this will be a law for all generations, or Chukat Olam, it will be a law forever, Ledoros Ham, for all of the generations. Me'et Bnei Yisrael, before the children of Israel, or on behalf of the children of Israel, excuse me. And you shall bring near to you Aaron, your brother, and his children, Ito, with him. From amongst the children of Israel, in order that they should minister to me. So Aaron. Nadav and Amihu and Elazar and Itamar, and they Aharon, the children of Aaron. The Asita vide Kodesh, and you will make for them holy garments. Um, my translation turns that up, it just says holy garments, so we'll stick with that. La Aaron for Aaron Achicha, for Aaron your brother. The Chavod Ulti Ferret for splendor and for honor, or for honor and for splendor. The Atah to Daber El Kol Chochmelev, and you will speak to all of those who are wise of heart. Asher Maletiv Ruach Chochma, who I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. The Asu Et Vide Aharon, and they will make these garments for Aaron. Lichdo Show to bring him honor. That he should bring honor to the priesthood who is ministering lead to God. The Ella Habegadim Asher Yasu, and these are the various garments that they shall make. And we're going to keep the translation handy here because this is not. Choshen, uh, that they should make a breastplate, the, the ephod and the ephod, who met il a robe. The ketonet tash baits meets nefet and a tunic of checker work. The avnet a miter. Uh, oh wait, no, I got off. Meets nefet the avnet a miter and a girdle. The asu videi kodesh and they will make these garments, these holy garments. The aharon achicha for Aaron your brother, ulevanav and to his and for his children. Uh, that they should be able to minister to me. et hazahav, and they will take up, or they will take hazahav, the gold, the et hatechelet, the blue, the et argaman, the purple, the et tolaat, and the scarlet. Uh, the tolaat hasheni, the scarlet, the et hashesh, and the fine linen. From there, the text goes into the ephod and the other priestly garments um, and words for linen and colors that I do not wish to translate without translation. We will join in the blessing after the Torah reading. 
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah temet, v'chaye heyolam nata v'tochinu, Baruch atah Adonai, notein ha-Torah. At this time, with words of Torah in our midst, we will pause for a prayer of healing for those in need of healing of body, of mind, or of spirit. Mishaberach avotenu v'imotenu, Abraham, Yitzchach, v'yakov, Sarah, Rivcha, Rachel, v'leya, v'yivarech et ha'kolim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. As a congregation, we pray especially this evening for Christina Lovertini Burks, Pam Mueller, Jim Levinson, Jody Lapine, Noah Carrico, Larry Weinberger, Jody Weinberger, Ralph Schwartz, Jim Lopp, Dick Levinson, Mitchell Quint, Gary Pacernick, Cicely Nathan, Linda Dean Harris, William Rossi, Rosalind Moss, Pat Bloom, Jerry McDonald, Marty Sacker, Bob Kahn, and Deborah Seidel. I invite you to add names of your own aloud or in your hearts or in your homes. Pray together with the words on page 253 or 371 in the Fulsi door. Blessed are you, Adonai, who brings healing to the sick. As we look to the page before for the words that we chant as we lift the Torah, and then we will continue after the Torah is dressed to returning the Torah. Oh no, we'll wait till after the sermon. Lies. We'll, we'll rise as the Torah is lifted, and then I'll go in our usual order from there. So with the Winter Olympics underway, 
I saw a comment about interesting facts or other comments made about the Olympics. One of them happened to be about the Summer Olympics, but it involves swimming, so I'm sharing it with you because those who know me well know I don't pass up references to swimming. In it, somebody commented how it must feel in particular really bad to come in second in swimming because not only did you lose and did not get the gold medal, but the person in the lane next to you is splashing around and you get splashed in the face in the process while they're celebrating. While there's no swimming in the Winter Olympics, I imagine it's no easier for the athletes who come up short of a gold medal or a medal at all to feel a similar sense of disappointment, despite still being at the Olympics and amongst the greatest athletes in the world. I learned a lot as an athlete about the importance of humility, to be able to celebrate another's achievement and success in times when you both made the cut, made the medal podium, or whatever the goal was, and even perhaps in the, even at times in the face of your own failure or loss. It doesn't come easy, but it is an important lesson. Our Torah portion this week teaches a lesson in how to stand next to someone that is in the spotlight, even if you think you might have been the one who deserved it more. And that comes in the appointment of Aaron as the high priest. If we stop to think about it, Aaron throughout the Exodus narrative thus far has been playing second fiddle to Moses. Moses gets nearly all of the credit when we retell this story of our history. But now, as God instructs Moses to appoint and ordain the high priest, God chooses Aaron. The roles are reversed, and Moses now seemingly is playing second fiddle to his brother. Drawing on a single, seemingly extra word, the very first word of our portion, the ata and you, when the you is implied in the verb that comes next, our rabbis derive an entire midrash, an ancient Jewish commentary, that takes us back to the burning bush. Imagining how that may have gone, and I'm paraphrasing the rabbinic text just a little bit, but it goes something like this. Moses spent seven days at the thorn bush, also known as the burning bush. And on the first day, God says to Moses, go on my mission. And Moses responds, please send somebody else. This was the exchange on the first day and the second day too. On the third day, God, perhaps a little less patient, calls Moses out on this and says, I say to you, go, and you say back to me, can't somebody else do it? I swear on your life, and side note, I am not paraphrasing this part. I swear on your life, I'm going to pay you back someday. So then we fast forward to our portion. Technically, actually, when we're doing the building of the tabernacle, but to this, the instructions for the tabernacle and the ordination, when Moses calls out to Aaron, and we are told, and when we are told, and then eventually that Moses does call out to Aaron, to tell him, God told me to ordain you as high priest. And the Midrash imagines Aaron responding, me? You're the one who's been doing all the building of this tabernacle thing and all of the hard work. It's yours. Isn't this your show? Why would God ordain me as high priest? Moses responds back in our Midrash, even though you are being made the high priest, it'll be just like I am. Because just as you were glad for me in my greatness, so too will I be glad for you in your greatness. And there our Midrash ends. Moses is referring to the fact that Moses had argued before God that Aaron was older and more deserving to be called upon to lead the Israelites. But nevertheless, even when God acknowledged back in Exodus 4 that this was in fact the case, God calls Moses anyways. And that when Aaron sees Moses in this role, Aaron will be glad in his heart, and the text provides a few more source texts that, for the sake of time, I will skip. It's for this reason that Rabbi Simeon ben Yochai says, The Holy One, blessed be God, said to him, 
The heart which is glad for his brother's greatness shall have those precious stones laid upon it, which refers to a piece a little bit farther than where I read that part of the garments for the high priest, we heard about the colors and the things, are that the names of the 12 tribes are engraved on them and that the high priest wears that every time they serve. According to this Midrash, Aaron gets the role as high priest because of his willingness to celebrate his younger brother's successes. And perhaps based on where the Midrash starts, a little bit of divine payback. Um, but I digress. Now, having grown up with four siblings, I can promise you, I can assure you, there was no sibling rivalry between the five of us. And of course, in my experiences, uh, there would never be academic competitiveness or jealousy in an Ivy League program. It's hard to imagine a situation where two siblings or close friends or colleagues, or so it's not hard to imagine, <laughs> keyword, where they might be frustrated, jealous, or otherwise hurt if one were given the promotion, the award, the prominent role over the other. Perhaps even in a case where like Moses or where you feel the other was more qualified or you were more qualified than the other. And we, of course, as humans would never let some petty jealousy get in the way. So I think our Midrash here is teaching us a few things. It begins with Moses's attempt to defer the appointment as leader of the Israelites. It begins with a critical view of Moses seemingly trying to skirt that responsibility and pawn it off on somebody else, namely his brother. And God's response of there's going to be some karma for this. In a way, even Moses gets what he has coming. He didn't want a leadership role now, so he, he'll get passed over later. Aaron, the one who is willing to step forward when he wasn't the first choice, eventually will get the promotion. Or perhaps we can look at it as the end of the Midrash does. Aaron steps forward as second fiddle to Moses. Moses gets nearly all the credit, and he still rejoices in his brother. He still supports his brother and his brother's successes. Aaron could have stood in Moses' shadow and begrudged not being chosen first as the older brother, but he is described as being supported. For this, God will reward him later with the high priesthood, and the, the priest will descend from his lineage. Or perhaps a third way to look at it is that we can view Moses' request for another take to lead in the Exodus as truly trying to give God a second chance to get the right person for the job. Perhaps this was truly an act of humility as the commentaries often see it, and not an attempt to skirt responsibility. And as such, Moses' positive regard for Aaron to be the high priest is just that, seeing his brother the right fit for the job ascend to the position. So what do we do when jealousy arises within ourselves? It's all too easy to let it simmer or boil into resentment, bitterness, or other negative feelings, to grumble that I deserved the promotion, the, the award, the recognition. Rabbi Peter Noble suggests that with a religious consciousness, we might be able to reframe these situations in a new perspective. Perhaps what feels like a loss is actually a gain. He suggests that sometimes he likes to think that God has something different planned, just a different path. Perhaps there is a blessing to be found. Maybe the promotion would have been nice but it would have come with more responsibility, making a balance between home and work more difficult. Maybe we don't find a silver lining, and maybe it just, very rabbinically, kind of sucks for you. Even in that case, when the silver lining is so slim, it might as well be invisible. When green-eyed monsters of envy and jealousy creep in, may we take a lesson from Moses and Aaron to not allow our own disappointment to get in the way of stepping back and celebrating another's achievement, opportunity, or success, knowing that at some point down the line, we too will get our turn, and it is their turn now to be in the light.
and now we will rise as the Torahs return to the Ark. If you wish, you can turn to page 256 in our prayer book. <laughs> in the full door for the words of Elenu towards the bottom of the page. Elenu le shabayak la do'on ha'kol la te'kiru la le'osev reishit shelo asanu kikoye ha'ratzot ve'lo osemanu k'mishbechot ha'dama shelo osam chalkenu kahen ve'kohor Elenu k'chol amonam The light of life is a finite flame. Like the Shabbat candles, life is kindled, it burns and glows. It is radiant with warmth and beauty, but soon it fades, its substance is consumed, and it is no more. In light we see, in light we are seen. The flames dance and our light <clears throat> burns down in gutters. There is an end to the flames. We see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair, for we are more than a memory, slowly fading into darkness. When uh, with our lives we give life, something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of darkness and death, of light and life. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed the earth, whom death has taken from us in recent days. As a congregation, we are in a period of Shiva for Rick Lieberman and a period of Shloshim for Ron Gilbert and Howard Bayer. And we recall those who died at this season in years past with the yard sites of Bob Archer, Solomon Bayer, Larkin Barnett, Rose S. Beller, Howard M. Bernstein, Theodore Bernstein, Gustave Bloomer, Etta Collins, Sid Dickstein, Minnie Engelman, Lenora Ferrer, Milton Feldman, Carol Bachrock Fink, Albert Fox, Bertha Frank, Doris Goller, Elsie Goodman, Ralph Gross, Roy Harlan, Doris M. Herman, Abe S. Jacobs, Martha Klein, Ida Cohn, Pearl Lawner, Barbara Levin, Leon Magid, 
Ruth Margolin Penis, Melvin Mayerson, Harry Mellet, Pearl Rockoff, Ida Rosen, Isidore Sherman, Shimmerin, Lillian Snyderman, Amelia F. Stern, Jeffrey Timmons, Anna M. Tuck, Bert Unger, Esther Weissman, Abram R. Weprin, Burton Weprin, and Estella J. Weiss. There are other names that ought to be added or pronounced more correctly. I invite you to share them aloud. I invite those in mourning or remembering to rise first. So we join them standing as one community with the words of Mourner's Kaddish, page 294. Yid Gadal, Yid Kaddash, Shimei Rabbah, Bialma Divra Hirute, Bialmlich Mahute, Bechayechon, Oviomechon, Ufraye de Hodbeit Israel, Baagala Uvisman Karib, Bimru Amen. Yehe Shimei Rabbah Mivarach, Leolam Olande Almaya, Yid Barach, Yid Tabah, Bid Pa'ar, Bid Romam, Bid Nase, Bid Hadar, Bid Ale, Bid Kalal, Shemei de Kudisha, Brihu, Le Ela, Bin Kol, Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Bechata, Venechemata, the Amiran, Bialma, Bimru, Amen, Yehe Shlama, Rabba, Bin Shemaya, the Chaim, Aleinu, the Alkol Israel, Bimru Amen. O say shalom bimrima. Huya a say shalom. Aleinu ve alkol Yisrael. Bimru Amen. Zikor lam libracha. That their memories should always and only be for a blessing. So we be, you may be seated as we conclude our service singing in Kiloheinu, page 322 or 626 in the full Sidor. En gila heinu, en kadon heinu, en gila heinu, en gemoshi heinu, mi elo heinu, mi kadon heinu, mi chelo heinu, mi gemoshi heinu, no delelo heinu, no delelo don heinu, no delemar heinu, no delemoshi heinu. Maru hello hey Maru Adone Maru Moke Nu Baru Moshi Tahu Hello Hey Tahu Adone Tahu Moke Nu Tahu Moshi As is our custom during the COVID pandemic, we will lead Kiddush and Motsi from the Bima, and I believe Scott has put some wine, juice, and challah in the hallway for those who wish. Do you want a slightly less slanted surface? For those who want the words of Kiddush in front of them, you may turn to page 5 or page 123 in the full door. Please pray with me. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Moreh v'riha gahafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kishanu v'mitzvotav, V'ratza v'ahanu, V'shavah kodsho, V'yahavah v'ratzon inchimanu, Zikaron v'maaseh v'reheshit, Kilu yam tehila lemi krahe kodesh zehachel letziyat mitzrayim kivanu vacharta veotanu kidasha mikohamim veshavat kochecha veavavu gratzon. In Kaltanu, Baruch Adonai, Mekadesh, Ashabat Mechaim.
for our Motsi. A Motsi left heavy heart. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. A Motsi left heavy heart. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. It has been wonderful to pray with you, whether I have been able to see you in the room or see your lovely faces on our new technology. Woohoo! Um, feel free to unmute yourselves and say hi. And if anybody in the room would like to see who else is joining us, feel free to come up and say hi. And please join us in the hallway for your own portions of Kiddush and Motsi, and I believe there might even be some cookies. Sorry, those on Zoom, I can't give you cookies. Story of our lives. <laughs> Good Shabbos, everyone. Hello. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos, everyone. Good Shabbos. Thank you for <laughs> yep. We'll see many of you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Early. Yes. yes. Yes, right early, early. <laughs> Judy, are you doing tomorrow? No, the following week. I was going to okay. say, I should say, I believe next Friday night, Rita is giving the drosh. Yeah, I'm reading Torah and giving the drosh. Reading Torah and giving the drosh. And next Saturday morning, Judy will be leading Torah study. Sorry, right. I'm pointing at the screen. Judy, this is your box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah.